Today's opening is going to be huge because we are doing a booster box versus challenge between the first set, which is the first chapter for Lorcana, and it's going to be up against the second set, which is Rise of the Floodborne. So we're going to see which of these are is going to give us the better cards, the better overall worth. And yeah, maybe one will pull an enchanted, maybe two enchanted, some high powered legendaries, maybe a legendary foil. I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out. All right. So we've actually done this booster box challenge before. We have gone head to head between the first chapter and Rise of the Floodborne, but I want to change things up a little bit this time. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to be opening instead of all the packs in the first chapter and then all the packs in the Rise of Floodborne and then, you know, figuring out which is the winner. Instead, we're going to go one pack of first chapter, then one pack of Rise of Floodborne. And we'll determine between that uh, each pack is going to kind of get a winner. And so there's going to be 24 little mini competitions between the two. And between the 24 competitions, it, we're going to see who takes more of the wins, who takes more of the W's between the two. And so that's going to be today's challenge. We're going to go one at a time and compare it that way and get our winner. So I'll go ahead and quickly take out all of the booster packs uh, from both boxes. And I'll kind of just have it out right here for us. So it'll be kind of an easier pull for us. And just, you know, like I said, uh, we're challenging one at a time, one pack at a time. And so it's just going to be easier if I just take everything out of the box as we have first chapter ready let me organize it a little bit so it's kind of aligned there nicely okay perfect and then of course we have the rise of the floodborne now i hope that you guys will kind of play along and maybe uh leave a guess of who or which of these two you think is going to win is it going to be first chapter that takes more of those little victories or is it going to be rise of floodborne yeah, you know you have a good chance either way based off my experience it seems like both really can have some good pulls and i i always seem to choose wrong i feel like i think maybe i chose correctly once but i seem to choose incorrectly a lot of times so normally i would go for first chapter but i am gonna do reverse psychology you know all that whatever <laughs> whatever you call that i'm gonna say rise of the floodborne wins today all right we're gonna say rise wins first chapter is gonna go up first against right over here the beast so let's see what pulls we can get from this very first pack for first chapter and yeah this is gonna determine who wins like round one right and it really does come down to uh, the last three cards. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do in this because there's so many packs to open. I think we're just going to look at the last three cards for uh, both sets. So I'm going to do that for first chapter and then I'll do the same thing for Rise of the Floodborne. I'm going to go ahead and take the last. Oh, I, I peeked a little bit, but I don't. <laughs> okay, I know what we got actually, but I peeked, I peeked a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw, but it's fine. There, we didn't see all the cards, right? But the last three cards are the most important cards. The rare, super rares, legendaries, uh, enchanted. So let's go ahead and see round one. Who is going to take round one? <laughs> so first pack magic, Scar for first chapter. Ooh, already starting off with a legendary gone to. Not the best legendary, but still decent and it's a legendary and our first foil is lilo galactic hero so that is a pretty good start there for first chapter let's see if round one goes to first chapter or can rise take it the so chief bogo we did see that earlier the next one super rare the queen and dragon gem foil wow you know that's a that's a pretty good one there for sure. All right, so round one, it actually goes to first chapter uh, based off of having a legendary, but also in terms of worth, we have more worth in first chapter here. All right, here we go. Round two, it is Maleficent versus Queen of Hearts. So uh, bad versus bad, right? Evil versus evil. Who will take it? First chapter is winning already, one to zero. But hey, we still have 23 more rounds to go. 
So we still have quite a bit. And, you know, as I picked Rise of the Floodborne, uh, we still have a very good chance of winning for those of us that picked Rise. Um, but hey, first chapter, those of you that picked first chapter, you're already looking very, very good. And let us see what we get for round two. So for first chapter, we have Flotsam, Scar, and Triton for the foil. So not the best. I think uh, Rise has a good chance to take it if we get, okay. Cheshire Cat is the super rare, so we can get super rare higher for this next card. It is a legendary, so this might mean Rise of Floodborne takes it already. Beast Relentless. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. And what the <laughs> Cheshire Cat again, but this time it's a foil, which, you know, this one's hard to tell if it's a foil sometimes, but it's still a really cool card. And you can see the difference. Well, it's hard to see the difference, huh? <laughs> very hard, very discreet foil, but I like it. But I think we can already tell that the second round goes to Rise of Bloodborne. Okay, so round three is going to be pretty intense, I feel like. Or, you know, if in real life or, you know, in Disney World, we had a battle between Elsa and Raya here, that would be an intense battle. I would, I would <laughs> pay to watch that uh, intense battle. But hey, round three is going to be intense. Let's see what we can get. First chapter versus Rise again. It is tied one to one, so that's already intense. I hope it comes down to like the last uh, few cards, really, <laughs> or the last few packs is what I'm hoping for. That it comes down to, uh, hoping for an intense battle instead of like a complete blowout where it's like I don't know ten to whatever the score would be. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get the last three cards ready here. First chapter starts off with. Simba Return King, okay. Moana and Reflection. So, not the best three cards. So, Rise has a decent chance again. Let's see. Lucifer, Rare, Dragon Gem, okay. And Launch Foil. Okay, so round three was a very close one. You know, it's hard to tell which of the two would take it. But because Rise of Floodborne got Lucifer and it's worth an okay amount, a little bit higher than. Uh, some of the cards that we have here for first chapter it looks like rise will take round three okay round four is gonna be elsa versus beast pretty interesting pretty interesting but uh yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this little format uh, format change versus what we did before i don't know if it brings more anticipation uh for me doing it um i don't know for me i have to like think a different way so it's a bit different but maybe watching the video might be a little bit more intense doing it this way, I hope. So, you know, hope you guys en are enjoying this different format. Like, you can let me know in the comments down below what you think about this style of a challenge where we just look at the last three cards. And not only that, we are doing one pack at a time. And that will determine, you know, who wins at the end based off the most little round wins. But here we go. First chapter is Captain Hook. Stitch Rockstar, ooh, that is a good one right there. And this can help first chapter tie things up again. Phil is the foil, okay. But can Rise get something else? Let's see. Ooh, Teeth and Ambitions, that's a good one as well. For the first rare, the next one is Mulan Reflecting, that's okay. Ooh, Pete, bad guy, <laughs> Enchanted, oh. <laughs> what and we already have this enchanted it's a we have a double enchanted <laughs> what the heck what are the chances of that getting the same enchanted card that we have in in the past in the past video <laughs> but um even though i thought first chapter was gonna take this round <laughs> um pete bad guy just came in as the bad guy and uh yeah round what round is this four <laughs> Round four goes to rise as well. Wow. Wow. Did not expect an enchanted. I feel like you expect you when you don't expect enchanted to come, that's when you get the enchanted cards. Very odd, but that's happened to me multiple times. Okay, so here we go. Round five. I was gonna say four, but it's round five. Mickey Mouse, Brave Little Taylor versus Queen of Hearts. 
But first chapter is falling behind in this. It is three to one. Three to one. <laughs> Rise is winning three to one. So, oh man, <laughs> first chapter really, really uh, needs to step it up, or else it's just gonna fall behind for like a bad sweep, right? I don't know. We will have to see as things go. Maybe the better cards for first chapter is near the bottom. I don't know. Well, we will have to see. But here we go, round five, and fight. <laughs> Curla Deville, Mickey Mouse and Dr. Facilier, Agent Provocateur, Foil. They're like a giant print line. I don't even know if that's a print line. It looks like, it doesn't even look like a print line. It looks like, it looks like a very bad scratch. Wow. I don't know, maybe it is a print line, but that's pretty bad. <laughs> Whatever that is, it makes the cardboard very bad, or especially because that doesn't look like a print line, but I don't know, you guys can tell me. But here we go, Rise again. Noi is a very good card. King Louis for the super rare and Legend of the Sword in the Stone for the foil, which is a nice foil. So this one actually ended up being not as close as I thought. It's a dollar difference between the two, but first chapter actually takes this round. The round five goes to first chapter, uh, you know, with the help of all of these, actually, they were worth a decent amount. And I thought Noi was worth a little bit more than I saw. But yeah, I think Noi's value has gone down uh, as of late. And yeah, these other cards didn't help it much. So it looks like round five goes to first chapter. Okay, round six is going to be Maleficent and Beast. And right now it is two wins for uh, first chapter, two round wins. And Rise of Floodborne has three round wins. So Rise is still winning. But hey, first chapter is right there keeping up. Hopefully keeps up. And as for as long as it can and you know maybe it wins at the end for those of you that picked first chapter or i don't know maybe um whether i picked i picked um rise so i i don't want i don't want like a blowout but i would like to see a nice battle and then bam rise wins at the end oh winnie the pooh even though you know we're not really counting those uh but here we go the first chapter has and starts off with maurice okay pretty decent oh maleficent monstrous dragon uh this is gonna be hard to beat for rise <laughs> this might be a tie game right now but yeah Ma maleficent monstrous dragon beautiful pull love that for uh love the legendary and the foil is pumba okay nice so i don't know uh, rise is gonna need a legendary or you know something like a really high legendary because maleficent maleficent's like one of the best legendaries for first chapter but let's see madam mim that's a that's a good one gonna need a legendary behind this though and okay there is a legendary behind this interesting this is actually really intense what can it be i think we're gonna need like a beast a tragic hero or something i don't know madam mim fox and sisu okay sisu is pretty decent but i don't think it's gonna cut it i don't think it's enough unless legendary foil nope okay but cogs were uh, no, cogs, i don't think cogs were worth much but let me double check yeah no it's no competition uh i thought cc was worth a little bit more than i saw but it, it's yeah it was not even close monsters dragon and single-handedly just took that victory and yeah it looks like we are all tied up yep so we are all tied up at three three apiece and now we are doing maleficent and raya nice okay that should be intense as well but i'm really liking this battle so far it's like you know back and forth and having a legendary here and uh, <laughs> enchanted even though that was just a major blowout um but it, so far you know it's been a really really a uh, good battle and uh, i hope it keeps up hopefully it comes down to like the last pack or so <laughs> that would be nice to see but here we go, last three cards down, and first chapter goes. What can we get? Jafar, Keeper of Secrets, Mulan, okay, and Archimedes. I haven't pulled this foil in a while, but yeah, pretty cool. I don't know, it's not worth much, but it's fine. And here we go, Rise gets Ratigan, Arthur, Wizard's Apprentice. This is a very good card. This might take the win fairy godmother here to help yep just as i mentioned arthur's wizard's apprentice 
helps take the victory for this round, which was round three, four, five, six. Is this round seven, I believe? Round seven goes to Rise of the Floodborne. Okay, round eight is gonna go between Elsa and Raya. And wow, so another close battle and we are just Rise of Floodborne just winning by one round. Let's see if first chapter can do and take, you know, do this and take this round so we can tie things up again. But, you know, we will see so far, even though, you know, this this match is, seems like it's really close. I feel like I guess because of the enchanted that we pulled for um, for Rise of Floodborne, it just seems like a huge <laughs> push towards that. Like if we did a final tally, you know, probably rise would have won in terms of the value but i like this round versus round it, it makes a little bit different but here we go first chapter is poisoned apple then grab your sword is a pretty good one and tinkerbell foil so that is the first chapter now let's go to rise of floodborne is the huntsman okay Beast, Selfless Protector, and Lady Tremaine foil. So this round, it seems like it's very close, but maybe Poison Apple and Grab Your Sword might take it. Let me double check. So round eight goes to first chapter, and it was mostly because of Grab Your Sword. I didn't know, but this card is actually worth quite a bit. I mean, I knew it was a good card, but didn't know it was that much better than these three, basically. So yeah this round goes to first chapter all right here we go next round mickey mouse queen of hearts i feel like we've already maybe mixed and match all the battles that you can have so far or actually i don't know i don't think i had mickey mouse versus beast yet but i'm not like planning this i'm just kind of um i'm just kind of pulling packs as i see them but that would be a <laughs> that would be very weird and intense i guess mickey mouse versus beast i can't even imagine that <laughs> what would mickey mouse even do <laughs> I mean, I, you know, he controls all of Disney, so maybe he can <laughs> he can probably come up with something, right? But here we go. First chapter for this round. Ooh, Lantern. Very nice. That's a good pull for a first chapter. Do it again. And ooh, Marshmallow for the foil, which is a super rare. That's very nice. <laughs> and now... Rise of Floodborne gets wrecked against Marvelous Trap, Winnie the Pooh having a think, and the Prince Foil. Okay, so round nine, thanks to both Marshmallow and Lantern, goes to first chapter. So, wow, first chapter has taken the lead again. We are having another battle of the evils. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh, last time the battle of the evils, I forget what cards were even in there, but I feel like it was an intense one. I mean, this battle overall between the two is going very fun. I, I'm have, having a blast. I'm enjoying this very much. I hope you are too. The fact that we go back and forth, it's five to four right now. And, you know, who knows? Rise might even things up again, make it five to five. I don't know. We'll see. But here we go. First chapter comes out with, if it's not broke, okay. Marshmallow, but not foil and goofy musketeer. Pretty cool foil. Now here we go. Rise could take this one. Oh, Sleepy's Flute. That's a good one. That's a really good one. That can help a lot. Dinner Bells, okay. And Sleepy nodding off. Would you believe me if I tell you that this battle was very, very close? It came down to a difference of six cents, uh, which is extremely close. And I didn't even think I saw it coming. But this round goes to rise of the floodborne barely barely too so six cents it comes down to that all right we are on round 11 and elsa and raya it is again tied we are tied at five five so this is just so intense i, I love it i love this how intense it is um but yeah you know we uh, as this video comes out it's probably a couple days or maybe a day or depending on when you watch it uh, the set three is just about out, you know, or at least for local gaming stores. So I hope you're able to get some product. Hopefully get, get some star decks or whatever you're looking for. Gift set, troves, uh, booster boxes. I hope you're able to get something 
uh, that's coming up here for set three, which is into the ink lands, right? So we're getting some new type of cards. So I don't want to spoil anything, but it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, I can't wait to open it on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you are able to watch as soon as we upload that. But here we go. <laughs> Round 11. Round 11 is Dr. Facilia for first chapter, Maximus and Flynn Rider for the foil. And now Rise of the Floodborne gets Gruesome and Grim. That's a good one. Oh, Snow White Well Wisher. That's a very good one. It's a legendary, so that's awesome. And Ratigan, Very Large Mouse, Foil. And yeah, no surprise for the victor for this round due to Snow White Legendary. It is Rise of Floodborne, so Rise takes the lead again. Here we go, round 12. It is 6 to 5 with 6 for Rise of the Floodborne and 5 for first chapter. Let's see if we can tie it up again with first chapter, hopefully. You know, we got to keep the intensity up here. But yeah, this is <laughs> an intense one. I believe we're going to be halfway done so far um, with this video, with this opening. And uh, yeah, hope you, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. And here we go with first chapter with this new round is going to be just in time. Ariel Spectacular Singer. That's a good one. And Dragonfire Foil. So honestly, all three really good cards, especially the Ariel and the Dragonfire Foil. But here we go. Rise gets falling down the rabbit hole. Honest John, not that honest. And ooh, beautiful popsicle foil love pulling that it is a common probably not worth much but hey this card is awesome so yeah it looks like this round goes to first chapter all right tied up again we just keep <laughs> one at a time it's just tied up uh you know one takes the lead i think uh rise took the uh, took a pretty big lead i think it was a uh, three to one at one point which is a pretty big lead and i was getting worried that <laughs> rise was just gonna take over the whole game and win it but we're just going back and forth back and forth and it's just super super intense i love it I, it's tie game again <laughs> which is great but here we go last three cards back there and now first chapter is musketeer tabard Ooh, ursula power hungry legendary that's a good one not too bad there and develop your brain foil can we get a legendary with Rise of Floodborne? I don't know. Ooh, the Queen. That's a good start. The Queen, super rare. Another super rare. Cogsworth and Madam Mim Fox Foil, which is, you know, I think it's worth a decent amount. So this one, Madam Mim definitely put up a good fight, being that foil of this card is worth a decent amount, but this wasn't enough because Ursula, Power Hungry, was just too strong. So this round goes to the first chapter. Score is now 7-6 to six with first chapter winning so very very cool uh well cool for those of you that pick first chapter not cool for me because i didn't pick it <laughs> but I, either way i'm just ex you know super excited with how intense things are going um seven to six we are now going to start a new round and let's see as i get the last three cards there get the last three cards here and first chapter gets Stitch, Abomination, Mickey Mouse Musketeer, and Tinkerbell, Tiny Tactician. Very cool, which is the foil. But Rise of Floodborne gets Hercules, Divine Hero, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, and Zero to Hero foil. This round here goes to Rise of the Floodborne, so we are all tied up again. Okay, this is round 15. We are starting to approach the end not at the end yet we still have a decent amount left but we are definitely approaching towards the end this is round 15 out of 24 so and it is a tie game again <laughs> so intense we are loving this right and here we go with the next uh, round first chapter gets white rapids pocket watch captain hook and mini mouse always classy foil pretty cool and now rise gets cronk cobra bubbles and raya headstrong foil so round 15 pretty soundly goes to the first chapter so first chapter takes the lead again let's see what we can get in the next round 
We are eight to seven. We are on round sixteen, and ri uh, not rise. First chapter has the lead this time, and I don't know. I mean, we are you know keeping it so close every round. Just you know tie here, then back to one of them winning, and then tie. We're keeping it so close that. You just got to stick to the end now. <laughs> we we got to see this entire thing through because we never know. As we start off with the first chapter now again, Ursula Shell Necklace, Tinkerbell, Giant Fairy. This is going to help quite a bit for first chapter to take a commanding lead. But the foil is Maleficent Sorceress. Not that great. But let's see what Rise of Floodborne. Can they do something to prevent the commanding lead? World's Greatest Criminal Mind, Sorcerer's Spellbook, and Gaston Foil. But just as we suspected, Tinkerbell was just too giant, too big in this one. So, first chapter wins again and takes a pretty nice lead. It is now 9 to 7. 9 to 7 for first chapter. Uh, am I regretting my pick? <laughs> I don't know, not yet, not yet. Maybe if they take even a bigger lead, uh, maybe because uh, we don't have very many rounds left right now and any uh, big leads that a, uh, a set takes is going to be pretty major at this time. But let's see, can Rise get one right here? They're going to need it, going to definitely need it. Can't get 10 to 7, right? But let's see, Hades, Tekkad the Burning One and Mother Gothel Foil, which is not bad. So that one's actually pretty good. But come on, Rise, let's see. Pack Tactics, okay. Cinderella, that's a good one right there. Super Rare, that's a very nice pull worth a decent amount. And Enchantress Foil. So yeah, thanks to Cinderella, this round goes to Rise of Floodborne. So keeping their hopes alive. So <laughs> very nice. So I, was, I was getting scared for a bit, but let's go to the next round. All right, so it is 9 to 8. First chapter still has the lead, but... We are closing in and very interesting marks right there. I don't know for both too. And these are both uh, different boxes, of course, that they came in. Right. So very interesting. I don't know if you guys can see. I think you can, but I don't know. Very interesting marks there. Um, kind of looks like print lines, but I don't know how, I don't know how there are print lines uh, outside of the uh, cards area right? on the outside of the pack. But maybe <laughs> anything can happen. I don't know. It's fine. Let's see the inside of the cards. Maybe these actually look clean. Maybe we'll see, but that's what we have to kind of just hope for. But yeah, it does look like the uh, inside is pretty clean. So at least that's <laughs> no print lines in the inside. We're, we're, we're all good here. Even though sometimes those crimps can make a card wor be worth more sometimes. Uh, sometimes, but first chapter, Robin Hood. That's a good one. Hans, 13 in line and Dingle Hopper foil. Those are three nice cards there. Rise of Floodborne gets Marisa's Workshop, Basil, and Benja for the foil. Well, this round goes to the first chapter, so they are taking another mini commanding lead as we have the last, you know, six packs, I believe. Six more rounds to go, if I'm correct. Yeah, six more rounds to go. And uh, it is intense, but first chapter is looking good. But yeah, it is 10 to 8. 10 to 8. First chapter has a nice little lead uh so you know rise is gonna need this round this or at the very least or you know very very it needs the next round at least right next round or the next two rounds or whatever <laughs> or else it's gonna it's gonna get pretty bad for the most part for our vote for rise of floodborne but here we go come on rise we gotta we gotta get some legendaries here but it's gonna be tough i know because of the um us pulling the uh, enchanted i feel like is decreasing the number of legendaries we might get today for rise but we'll see Cusco, that's a good pull let it go let it go that's a very good pull and stolen centaur this first chapter again a nice set of three cards to go up against we'll see christopher robin merlin shape shifter and painting the roses red but this round is too much and first chapter takes it again with a commanding lead of 11 to 8. Ooh, wow. It, it's starting to not get close anymore. First chapter is just taking over right now. So we are now in round 20. Round 20. This is going to be a big one. This has to be 
a big one for Rise because they need to win. It's going to get almost impossible to win anymore because we're running out of rounds, right? So Rise really, really needs to win this one. The score right now is 11 to 8. So Rise, you have to win. You really, really, really have to win this one. Or, it, you know, if you don't win this one, I think you have to win the last four straight rounds or else. And I think it'll be a tie too. So at this point, Rise has to win this round and all the next rounds if they want to win. Let's see. I don't know. It's going to be intense. Plasma Blaster, Hades, and Captain Hook Foil. Not too bad for first chapter. Not too bad. But come on, Rise. Let's see. Raya Super Rare, Mickey Mouse Friendly Face, and the most diabolical bull by diabolical <laughs> scheme. Can't speak English for a second. Well, this round went to the first chapter <laughs> and it took a huge, just commanding, commanding lead where no matter what first chapter moving forward right now is either going to win or tie. At the very least, they're going to tie. Even if Rise right now were to get all of the last four victories here it, it, it'll be a tie right so rise isn't winning i called incorrectly but <laughs> i'll take a tie i'll take the tie here if we can get that for all of us that voted rise of floodborne we will take the tie right <laughs> we will take it at this point but for those of you that voted for first chapter looking pretty good you guys are can be as confident as you want right now because uh it's looking very good for for you guys um and i apologize uh some uh there might be some cuts here just because um my camera is overheating right now like this camera here so um it's overheating and just it, I'm, oh, I'm editing it out of course but uh i apologize for that cut there uh, it's happened twice already so i apologize but maybe we can get through these last packs uh seal from the rich jasmine and peter pan foil come on rise we gotta tie <laughs> we gotta tie it we have to win tuck tuck uh goofy night for a day and daisy duck i don't know it's gonna be a close one so by literally one penny by one penny it is rise of the floodborne that wins this uh goofy really really helped out a lot and daisy duck surprisingly did too um i'm kind of surprised about that one but by one penny and you know it can change based off the day but i guess based off where i'm looking at right now <laughs> by one penny rise of the floodborne takes it still has a chance to tie this game let's do it all right so just three packs left three packs left three rounds left for first chapter and rise of the floodborne the score right now is 12 to 9 <laughs> so like i said we can only tie it we can only tie it for those of us that picked rise and for those of you that picked first chapter you're probably just hoping that yeah i don't know you just need one win and it's all over right so maybe a legendary can do it if you get it but let's see lady tremaine first chapter tamatoa that can help prince eric foil okay come on rise prince charming and oh lady tremaine that's gonna help a lot charge foil but yeah this one was a pretty sound victory lady tremaine was just too strong and rise of floodborne takes another one so we're getting closer to tying this it is 12 to 10. all right we are on round 23 round 23 so we i'm gonna save these two for last we're gonna have these two fight which would be intense maleficent and beast we are uh, second to last round and i don't know first chapter just needs one last win to win this just need just needs one more round <laughs> i know like people are probably scared right now the ones that have picked first chapter because you know we have nothing to lose for rise of flood <laughs> we really don't we have nothing to lose we're just trying to tie at this point but I don't know if you guys want to take the tie after having such a commanding lead. Probably not, but let's see. Can first chapter end it? Zeus, that's pretty good. Be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared is very, very good. Probably one of the best rares. Great card, of course, but in terms of worth, it's a decent amount. This could be it for first chapter. Abu, foil, doesn't matter. Be prepared is going to be tough. 
All right, let's see. Rise of Floodborne. Can they keep our? Can we keep our hopes alive here? Uh, Prince John. We're gonna need a fo uh, a legendary right now, or a really good foil. But Prince John, Madam Mim. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Gumbo Pot foil. And unfortunately, it's over. First chapter did it. Be prepared. Won the game. The match is pretty much over. We'll still open up the last pack. Prince John put up a good fight. Worth the worth an okay amount. But it just wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. And yeah, right now it is 13 to 10. No matter what happens, it looks like first chapter wins. But let's see what happens in the last pack. All right, so 13 to 10 right now. And round 24, like I said, doesn't matter anymore. The first chapter already took the victory, but you know, let's see what we can get in the last one. Maybe Rise can at least take one more and be 13 to 11, which is uh, not as bad as like 14 to 10, right? <laughs> if that's the case right now, it could end in 14 to 10, which doesn't sound like it was a close battle, but you know, trust me, watch the video. You'll know it was a very back and forth until the end. But here we go. First chapter with the last pack magic. Mickey Mouse, Bell, strange but special, legendary. Wow. <laughs> Adding insult to injury for sure. Bell, strange but special. And the last card is Lifu. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think there's any, uh, I don't think. I don't think it's happening for a rise. I don't think it's going to happen. There's no way. Bell's a little bit too high in terms of the um, the amount it's worth. And it's just a high legendary. But let's see. Minnie Mouse, White Eye Diver. Namari is a legendary. Just not as good as uh, Bell, unfortunately, here. It's okay. Merlin Crab Foil. Well, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The final score is 14 to 10. And the first chapter wins today in the booster box challenge. Now, if you were to add up all the worth of all the cards separately, like how we did, like opening all first chapter, opening all rise, and then figuring out between that rise of the flipborn probably would have won just because of the enchanted card, right? They're like worth a hundred dollars or so, uh, a little bit more probably than a hundred. But uh, in that case, rise of the one, but the way that we have our format right now, it's one, one, right? One at a time, one at a time, one round at a time. I like this format. I thought it was very fun. But first chapter did win. So congratulations to those that picked uh, first chapter. I was wrong again. <laughs> Don't pick whatever I pick. That's that's probably the thing. But maybe next time. I, I hope you enjoyed this format. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video. If you thought it was pretty intense and, and fun to watch. I can do another one like this in the future. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Become a member if you want. Helps out the channel a lot. And comment down below and I'll see you next one. Take care.